Lock in on subject. And closer, closer, closer. We're heading inside. And we're in. Oh! Ouch! Man, it's dark in here. And it looks like my lighting system is jammed. Use your light source to find me so we can hit the switch and get some lights in here. Excellent! Lights are on. Let's get started. We get oxygen into our body simply by breathing. People need oxygen to live, the same way plants need water to grow. One way we get oxygen into our lungs is through the nose. The nose helps you breathe by warming up the air before it gets to the lungs. It also has tiny hairs that act like a trap, preventing particles like asthma triggers from getting into your lungs. Asthma triggers can also enter the lungs through the mouth. Uh oh Here come some asthma triggers now! Unfortunately, the nose hairs can block everything. Tiny allergy triggers, the things you're allergic to, like dust mites and mold, sneak by and hit the sides of the nose. This causes a chemical called histamine to be released. Check it out. The histamine acts like a faucet to produce a watery substance that gives you a runny nose. In other words, snot. That's some nasty stuff. <laughs> it's coming out like crazy. Give me a tissue. What you're seeing here are allergy triggers causing an allergic reaction. Whoa! Gazette. <laughs> anyway, allergy medicine helps stop this flooding in the nose by drying it up. Grab a mop and help dry up this mess. Oh, thanks. Let's move on. The second way we get oxygen into our lungs is through the mouth. So by breathing in through your nose and mouth, air moves down the windpipe toward the lungs. Check out the oxygen going into the lungs. It's like cars moving down a highway. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> Once air reaches the lungs, it travels down big airways called bronchi. Click on me to send me down the bronchi. As the bronchi reach deeper into the lungs, they get smaller and smaller, like the roads you see here. The bronchi end in tiny air sacs called alveoli, which look like a bunch of grapes. The alveoli are the entry point where oxygen is transported into the blood by hitching a ride on the blood cells. So, you can see how oxygen is delivered throughout your entire body. Let's turn around and head back up the bronchi. Click on the bronchi to send me back up! Thanks for the lift. When you have asthma, your bronchi, or airways, are very sensitive. That means that even the tiniest things, like allergy triggers and asthma triggers, like cold air and exercise, can cause the lungs to react. The lungs react in two ways. First, they produce too much mucus. Ew, yuck. Second, they can become swollen, which is called inflammation. Together, mucus and inflammation block the airways so less oxygen can get in and out of your lungs. Before you know it, it gets harder to breathe. Even though your lungs always have some inflammation, if you don't keep inflammation and extra mucus under control, over time, they'll get worse, making it harder for you to breathe. That's why it's so important to take a type of long-term control medicine called an anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory medicine reduces inflammation and prevents mucus from filling the airways. It also makes your airways less sensitive to asthma triggers. And that's how we got into this mess in the first place. Here comes the anti-inflammatory medicine now. Use the anti-inflammatory medicine to cool down the inflammation in the lungs. See the difference? Much better. Anti-inflammatories are one type of long-term control medicine. Just to show you how important it is to take long-term control medicines every day, let's see what happens when you skip them. Drag the arrow on the time device forward. Look at that inflammation. See how inflammation gets worse when you don't take your long-term control medicine? Now let's move back up the bronchi. With asthma, everything can change when you come into contact with your asthma triggers. Let's initiate a smoke infusion. Smoke's got to be one of the worst asthma triggers. <laughs> When you come into contact with an asthma trigger, the muscle around the airway is start to tighten. Kind of like shoelaces that are tied too tight. This tight feeling in your chest is called bronchoconstriction. And it leads to symptoms like a cough or wheeze, which makes it hard to breathe. 
Your lungs also produce more and more mucus to try and trap the asthma trigger and prevent it from entering the lungs. A combination of extra mucus, swollen airways, and muscle tightening makes the airways narrower and makes it difficult to breathe. This causes asthma symptoms to get worse. Quick relief medicine helps relieve this chest tightness because it unties the shoelaces that are wrapped around the airways. Here comes the quick relief medicine now. This medicine opens up the airways very quickly so you can breathe again. Oh, feel the breathe. Swimming home, swimming free. Although asthma attacks will happen less often if you take your long-term control medicine every day and avoid your asthma triggers, they can still happen from time to time. Let's see what happens when you've been exposed to a really powerful asthma trigger and you've either waited too long to take your quick relief medicine or the inflammation has gotten out of control. In this case, you need emergency medicine and that means you need to tell an adult right away. This medicine helps by clearing the airways quickly so breathing can return to normal. You should talk to your doctor if you need emergency medicine more often than usual. Because chances are, there's a better way to manage your asthma. Or it may mean you need a different kind of medicine. Simulation review. For the most part, keeping your asthma under control is up to you. First, avoid your asthma triggers. Second, Follow the personalized action plan for taking medication that your doctor gives you, which includes taking long-term control medicine every day. In this way, you'll prevent most asthma symptoms from ever even starting. You'll breathe easier, feel great, sleep through the night, and do everything other kids do. It also means you won't make trips to the hospital or stay home from school because of your asthma. This concludes the lung simulation. Let's get out of here.